The SpectraAlert Advanced Outdoor AV product line is designed to withstand extreme environmental conditions when installed properly. An up arrow in the back box indicates which direction the device should be mounted on the wall. The plastic weatherproof back box that ships with the outdoor device comes with insertable side flanges, which are the recommended method of securing the back box to the wall. The metal weatherproof back box has integrated side flanges. If for some reason you cannot use the flanges, there is an alternative method. The back boxes are molded with small screw knockouts to mount directly to the wall or to a weatherproof electrical back box. If the screw knockouts are removed, then they must be sealed with an outdoor or marine rated silicone before the screw is tightened all the way. After the silicone is applied, finish tightening the screw. For outdoor horns, strobes, horn strobes, speakers, and speaker strobes, you can use the center holes to mount the back box to a weatherproof single gang box or the four outer holes to a weatherproof double gang box. The back box has threaded holes on the top and bottom for 3 quarter inch NPT conduit adapters. If you do not use one or all of these conduit holes, threaded plugs are provided with the product to seal those holes and maintain the watertight rating. To install the plugs, first slide the provided O-ring onto the conduit plug. Using Teflon tape or silicone sealant on the plug's threads, hand tighten the conduit plug with O-ring in the unused openings on the top and bottom of the back box. Then, tighten each plug so it slightly compresses the O-ring without pushing it out of place. Do not over tighten. Alternatively, if you want to install a liquid tight conduit connector in the threaded openings, first secure the weatherproof back box to the mounting surface. Then thread the liquid tight conduit connector into a threaded opening by following the manufacturer's instructions for connectors in liquid tight applications. Please note this may require the use of Teflon tape or another thread sealant. Finally, connect the conduit to the connector per the manufacturer's instructions. The back box also has conduit knockouts on the back if rear entry installation is required. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the knockout. Place the flat blade along the edge, striking the screwdriver as you slowly work the blade around the slot. When a rear knockout is removed from the back box, the product no longer maintains a NEMA 4X rating unless a NEMA 4X rated liquid tight conduit connector is used. There are several connector options available including flexible liquid tight conduit connector, available in metal or plastic, rigid PVC conduit connector, cord grip connector, or rigid conduit hub. Next, insert the liquid tight conduit connector into the knockout opening. Make sure that the connector's gasket is in between the connector and the back box. If a gasket is not provided with the connector, then follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to use the connector in a knockout an O-ring may need to be purchased separately. Then, attach the conduit connector to the conduit per the manufacturer's instructions. Tighten the conduit connector nut on the inside of the back box and secure the weatherproof back box to the mounting surface. Silicone sealant is not a substitute for a liquid tight connector or conduit plugs for the rear knockouts or threaded conduit openings. Some local codes do not require product wiring to be installed in conduit. In order to maintain a watertight seal in such an application, a watertight cord grip connector or a watertight connector with a small length of conduit is recommended when using the rear knockouts. In areas where humidity is a concern, such as freezer applications, we recommend blocking the conduit with minimally expanding foam designed for windows and doors. For more information about our outdoor AV products, visit systemsensor.com forward slash outdoor AV.